Tell me, fellas, have you seen her? It was about five minutes ago when I seen the hottest chick that a young and never seen before. Hey guys, so I'm actually doing a haul video today to show you the things that I picked up from Walmart. So the Walmart near my school-ish um, has just gotten a new line called Hard Candy. Um, and I got a few things from their line. I'll probably be getting some more things from there um, and showing you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. I actually got this um, duo eyeshadow in Rush Hour from the the hard candy line it's really really cute and I just adore their packaging like even the little section that was just hard candy in the makeup aisle at Walmart was like it was just so pretty gorgeous so I got really excited and got some <laughs> I also got um some nail polish by from wet and wild this I guess this is like their new packaging or new line or something it's really cute such cute packaging look at that so I got this color in Rustic, which is like a bronze. And I also got this color in Inferno, which is like a nice burnt orange. A really pretty color. Oh, you know what? I forgot to swatch this um, Hard Candy duo for you. I'll go ahead and do that now. You guys, it's really, it's really nice and pigmented, really. It's really pretty. Okay, so these are the two colors. One side's like a nice pink. It almost reminds me of Expensive Pink by MAC. Sorry, I got it really close just now. <laughs> and then the other color is like a bronzy brown. Really pretty. Alright, so... I also picked up some nail color by Sally Hanston Insta Dry in Jumpin' Jade, which is a really nice hunter green looking kind of color. I love it. I got another nail polish by Pure Ice in Frosted Ice New Lilac. Really pretty purple color. I've been into purples. Lately, well, that seems to be what I've been buying a lot. I also got another Sally Hansen Hard as Nails um, Extreme Wear Nail Color in Purple Potion. Really pretty color. Um, I wanted to try the Revlon Color Stay Eyeliners. They didn't have black, which made me so upset, but they had this brown, which I just picked it up anyway. It's like a really dark brown. It's, I don't remember the name of the color. The color is called Cocoa. This is the color right here. I swatched it for you guys. It's right down there. And I actually wore it on my waterline today. And it's been staying, but I haven't had it on for a lot, very long. I mean, I put it on probably like 10 something. And right now it's like almost 3.30. So that's still pretty much there, which is awesome because my other eyeliners would have just already been gone. I also got this L'Oreal Paris telescopic, ex telescopic Explosion Mascara, which is pretty much like the Givenchy um, mascara that has the little spike ball. But that was like $40 almost at Sephora. And this, I believe, was on like 7 or $8. So I was like, yeah. Um, and I wanted to try it, so... We'll see how that goes. And lastly, I got some aloe vera, aloe vera um, gel from Fruit of the Earth, also from Walmart with no alcohol, no color, just pure. Um, I actually bought it for my hair, which sounds creepy, but you can. It even says on a bottle that you can use it for your hair. It's it's not supposed to be. I mean, I don't know if it's supposed to be, but for me, it's not like. It doesn't provide me with a super hold or anything, so I wouldn't use this for, like, slicking down my hair or my edges or I don't really know. I just know that I would use this for more of a light hole for my curl enhancement. So, especially when I cut my um, relaxed ends off, 
and I want to do like a wash and go with my natural hair, I'm probably going to be using my aloe vera gel because it's it's much lighter than like actual hair gel. And I feel like it's a little bit healthier for my hair. And sometimes you just want a very natural feel as opposed to like a crunchy feel. Even though some gels don't give you that crunchy feeling, this is just more natural. It'll allow you to have, you know, your curls popping and whatnot. But it's a more natural alternative, I guess. But don't expect um, this to be like super whole gel or anything. So I put a little on my edges um, last night and this morning to see, you know, what this hold would be like. That's why I found out there's not a lot of hold, but it does enhance my girl at least. Um, yes. So I also wanted to give you guys a quick introduction um, to the new series of tutorials I'll be doing on my hair. Just some more styling videos as usual. Um, it's, I'm going to call it rolls because I've been wearing rolls lately a lot. So I decided I was just going to do a tutorial on like today. This is a pretty much a bantu knot out. And I just did some French rolls on the side. This is actually like a side poof. Um, I just kind of took the front piece and just kind of swooped it to the side, pinned it. And I was like, oh, I kind of like that off to the side like that. Kind of cute. And then I just took the rest of the hair on the side and rolled that too. All like the back. So that's the hair today. I will be doing a tutorial on this hairstyle. Um, probably not today, probably this weekend. Um, I'll also do a few more tutorials on um, other roll styles that I've been wearing. Um, the reason why I haven't been doing tutorials on them immediately is because honestly, what will happen is I'll do a braid out or a band knot, and then I'll don't wouldn't know what to do with it in the morning and then I just like start doing stuff randomly with my hair in the morning so then I'm like oh new style cute so I have like three new styles that have lots of variety and variation to them so you can kind of tweak them as you like and that is it oh by the way you guys this background all this that wall over there that's actually my roommate's side so I'm at school so that's actually not my side of the room that you're seeing with the zebra and all that stuff. That's my roommate's wall. So, yes. Anyways, that is it. Um, wow, I just dropped my nail polish, guys. Wonderful. So, quick update. Um, let's see. School's going fine. Um, I've just been really, really busy. I haven't been doing as many tutorials and videos as I um, did in the summer. I mean, I warned you guys of that. Once I get to school, it's like work, 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 work. Um, so I won't be doing tutorials as often. I'll probably do them at least once every two weeks. Um, and since I have to wait, make you guys wait so long, um, I'll probably do like two or three videos, you know, on the day that I do make the videos or whatever the case may be. So I'll let you guys know. Um, I do have a tutorial to do for another girl. Um, she asked me to do, like, some nail design that I've done in one of my, um, videos. So I will do that. So that's coming up. Um, the hair tutorials are coming up. Um, and I think that's really it. Maybe a few more makeup tutorials, but I haven't really been wearing a lot of makeup lately. Um, I've just kind of been doing something really, really quick, natural, easy, done in, like, five minutes. I might even just do a video on that so people can see my everyday five-minute routine. <laughs> Alright, so that's it, you guys. Have a nice day. Bye.